Hi, I'm Phil Burt and I was the head physio at British Psyche for 12 years and helped up Team Sky. Uh, this is going to be our first video on cycling and injuries. But first of all, let's have a look at cycling as a sport and its injury profile so we understand it well. The first thing to say is cycling is a very low injury sport. If you think about it, what's the first thing anyone does when they're injured? You know, if you can't run, your physio will often put you on a bike. Go for a knee operation, first thing you do is cycle. And why is that, if we understand that? It's because cycling has hardly any eccentric forces to control. It's a two-dimensional sport, not three-dimensional like football where you're running fast and changing direction. So it has lots less injurious, uh, injurious forces going on in it. And it's great because as we all get older and wear out, and one thing we can do, maybe is not run marathons anymore, but you see a lot of 70 year old guys riding bikes really hard. And that's the reason why. Having said that, there are cycling injuries. What are the top three? Knee, shoulder, and lower back. So let's cross off shoulder first of all. The reason why it appears so high in that is because when people fall off bikes, they break their collarbones basically. You fall from, a bike is higher than a running position and you fall on an outstretched hand and this bone takes it and that's where you fracture well. We'll leave that alone for now, although we may well go into that at a later date, how you recover from that. Lower back is a whole other video. So today we're gonna to tackle the number one cycling injury, which is the knee. The knee. <laughs> so. What we're going to talk about there, why is the knee the most injured joint in cycling? Well, if you look at a bike, our hips and pelvis are quite well supported by a saddle. And our foot and ankle are completely locked into a pedal and quite often a carbon fibre shoe. So, foot's happy, ankle's happy, not much to do in control, unlike in running, where's the ground in the trainer, toe off. It's very, very simple. Bottom, completely supported. What's the one, the one joint out in the, in the air? is the knee and it's controlling all the power from the two biggest muscle groups in the body your glutes and your quads if you're using them to pedal the knee transfers all that power between there and there and that's why it's quite vulnerable and that's why even if you only cycle at 80 revolutions per minute that's adding up to thousands of revolutions pedal revolutions where your knee is tracking through that cycling motion over a long ride this is why setup so important cleat pedal saddle high setback this boy takes the brunt of it. And here's the oxymoron. Cycling's really good for knees. If you came to me and you had a really bad knee injury, say from your football or your rugby career or netball, I reckon almost anybody can cycle as long as you get the setup right. Because the first thing any physio will do is put you on a bike to help your knee rehabilitate. But get it wrong, that setup, and you can end up with a knee injury. So obviously I'm not there with you, but I want to help you. So what can I tell you that might help you? Okay, so basically, if you're getting pain at the back of your knee, a very, uh, or quite common cause of that is your saddle's too high and you're having to reach too far to the pedal. So check your saddle height. If you're getting pain at the front of the knee in the kneecap, that cannot often be that your saddle position is too low. We know that from good research. Basically, as you're sitting too low, your patella, your patella gets too more compressed and can cause pain here. Uh, if you're getting pain at the insertion on the outside of the knee, that can quite often be that your iliotibial band, a large muscle band down the, the outside of your thigh, is becoming too tight. Now, that one's a little bit more difficult. You can treat the symptoms of that and make it feel a lot better by, say, foam rollering your RTB band, releasing your glutes. That might need to be physio led. You might have a go at it yourself. But quite often, iliotibial band pain or pain on the inside of the patella that people often get recycling can due to the inner tip of the band pulling the patella that way or the kneecap, that can quite often be down to biomechanics. You might look at your pedal system you're using. For example, if you look at yourself now and walk across the living room, if you walk like a duck with your feet out and you're on a fixed pedal system, like a Shimano or a Look that allows a little float this way, then this, this gets tightened up all the time and will lead to knee pain. So it can be a little bit more involved and complicated, but there's some hopefully helpful tips for you guys.